Welcome back to Weather on the Go, all your weather coverage. Hope everybody's having a great start to their Thursday, January 4th out there. We are still tracking two big snowstorms that will impact parts of the United States and southeastern Canada this weekend into next week, followed by the coldest air of the winter season as we get into the middle of January, and we'll detail all that you need to know in today's weather forecast. Before we get into the forecast, if you are new to the channel and not a subscriber, make sure to subscribe to the channel down below, especially if you do like detailed weather breakdowns across North America and the tropics. And I would love to hit 75,000 subscribers by the end of this month, and you can help me get there by simply subscribing to the channel down below, and also press the like button down below Below as well it helps out more than you know so walking out the door this morning whether it's to run errands to work to school it's chilly across portions of southern Canada and the north central United States here temperatures across southern Canada were waking up into the single digits and even the teens up across this region the northern United States were waking up here into the upper Midwest the northern plains the northern Rockies into the teens and the 20s out there further south we're waking up into the 20s and 30s and even some 40s mixed in there so a little bit chilly here as we go out the door this morning we will be warming up a little bit this afternoon across the deep south temperatures will be into the 50s 55 in dallas fort worth 56 there into baton rouge 51 into Jackson, Mississippi, but further north, a little bit cooler with temperatures for highs into the 20s and 30s up here across the Midwest, the Ohio Valley and the Northeast, and then single digits and teens for highs across southern portions of Canada for this afternoon. So definitely a chilly go of it further to the north. Here are your current weather conditions across portions of the United States. A little bit of snow here across interior New England. That's not going to pile up to really anything just a few flurries, just more of a nuisance than anything else. Across the Four Corners region, notice the snow here across Arizona, Utah, Colorado, and New Mexico falling in those higher elevations, definitely seeing some snow piling up out there. And then more snow across the Pacific Northwest currently and those higher elevations of Washington State and Oregon and then over toward the Seattle region Portland Eugene in Oregon we could be seeing some rainfall here out the door this morning looking at today we got a low pressure system that is kicking out across the four corners region this is actually the low pressure that will be responsible for our snowstorm moving into the mid-Atlantic and Northeast this upcoming weekend and watch as it dives further to the South and East into East Texas and Louisiana on your Friday, January 5th timeframe. And looking at that, this will be producing a cold air aloft. So we'll be seeing some snow out here across the Rockies and up here into the Pacific Northwest, British Columbia, even seeing some snow out here. Whereas we see rain where we have the warmer temperatures and lower elevations across Seattle, Portland, down into the Medford and Eugene region there into Oregon. As we go into tonight, we'll start to see more precipitation kicking out across the Southern Plains and the Central Plains. You can see very heavy snows kicking out across the Denver region, down here into the Northern Texas Panhandle, Oklahoma Panhandle into western Kansas. All rain though from Oklahoma City to Lawton all the way down into the Abilene region as we go into tonight. Then on your Friday we're going to start to see more of that snow spreading across the north central states across the Dakotas, Minnesota, getting into Nebraska there, Kansas, whereas it's all rain and even some thunderstorms across portions there of the lower Mississippi Valley into East Texas, into Southern Arkansas and Louisiana for your Friday time frame. Overall, total accumulated precipitation. This is your rainfall forecast now through Saturday, the 6th of January. See the heaviest concentration of rain near the Gulf Coast here and across Dixie Alley from East Texas through Louisiana, getting into Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia there into northwestern Florida and even into the western Carolinas here 
We could be picking up easily one to two, if not even three inches worth of rain in some areas as we go through the start of this weekend. That is concerning for a little bit of flash flooding potential across the Gulf Coast here into the Dixie Alley region. You can see New Orleans getting into Jackson, Mississippi, Montgomery, and even into portions of the Panama City region, watching out for that marginal risk of flash flooding there Friday into your Saturday time frame. The cold side of the storm, we do see some snow out here across the Rockies, several inches of accumulation across Colorado, Utah, northeastern Arizona, into much of New Mexico there. A couple inches of snow could be falling, especially on grassy surfaces down here into Kansas, the Oklahoma, and the northwest Texas panhandle through your Saturday morning time frame. And that could cause some travel impacts across this region not only through today and tonight, but also your Friday and into your Saturday morning commute across the Four Corners region with the most severe travel impacts across northern New Mexico as we go into that time frame. So make sure you're watching out for that if you are traveling out west. Now, as we go into this weekend, here's the big snowstorm we've been talking about. This is a 1,003 millibar low on Saturday off the east coast here, off of eastern North Carolina. As we go into Sunday, just to the east of Cape Cod here, this is rapidly going to strengthen from a 1,003 millibar low to a 983 millibar low very rapidly. And that means a strengthening low pressure system means we're going to see some heavy snow and also some wind with this system as well. So as we go into Saturday, here's your rain snow line further up to the north across northern Virginia, getting into West Virginia there and northward. We'll start to see more snow and maybe a mix of precipitation, whether it's freezing rain, rain, or even some sleet out there. Definitely seeing that. Further south, all rain across the Carolinas into Florida there and even eastern Tennessee, eastern Kentucky. That will mostly be all rain on Saturday. Heading into Saturday night, again, that rain snow line setting up across southeastern portions of Pennsylvania, so the Philadelphia area, Baltimore into Maryland, and the Trenton region into New Jersey up there, and even parts of Long Island could be seeing all rain as we go into Saturday night. We're north of there as we go into northeastern Pennsylvania, northern New Jersey into the Albany region, and even New York City could be seeing some snow over here toward Hartford and Connecticut, western Massachusetts and into portions of Rhode Island. That's all snow Saturday night. Then as we go into Sunday, this system really strengthens. So we have some heavy snow, possibly one to two inches per hour bands across the Boston region, getting down into Hartford, even New York City, and even Long Island starts to see snow as the system moves out as we go into Sunday. Here is your rainfall accumulation for the weekend into early next week. You can see widespread heavy rains across southern Virginia, the Carolinas, Georgia, back into southeastern Alabama, middle and eastern Tennessee, including the Cumberland Plateau, and then getting down into Florida here, we could be seeing widespread one to three inches of rain as we go through the weekend. And this is concerning for some flash flooding for the east coast, so the eastern Carolinas, Eastern Virginia and on up there just south of the I-95 corridor. We could be talking about a marginal risk of some flash flooding there as we go into that Saturday, Sunday time frame. Now the cold side of the storm here, this is the European forecast model, Saturday, Sunday, and into Monday morning. And looking at this here, a good six to 10 inches with isolated higher amounts possible across portions of the Boston region, getting through Hartford and then getting through portions there of Albany, New York City, getting into Northern New Jersey and Northeastern and Eastern Pennsylvania there on the European model, the GFS model is still a little bit further to the south. So that includes more of New York City, Long Island, central New Jersey, more of Cape Cod here into Massachusetts, and more of Rhode Island with this. So there's still a little discrepancy in the track of the system. And it, uh, the, it makes a big difference. A 50 mile wobble north or south will make the difference between all rain or all snow. And it could be heavy snow at that. Looking at at least six to 10 inches where that snow sets up across the Northeast. 
Then we're not done. As we go into Sunday, here's our second snowstorm. That's moving into the eastern Four Corners region as a 1,000 millibar low there into Colorado and New Mexico. That will move down into the Texas Panhandle and western Oklahoma as a 995 millibar low on Monday. Notice the number dropping. That means the low pressure will be strengthening, and then that will turn more off to the north and west in towards portions there of the Ohio Valley and the Midwest, a 979 millibar low, a very strong system as we go into Tuesday there. So looking here at a precipitation for Sunday, that storm over the four corners, more snow and some heavy pockets of snow across Utah, Colorado, Arizona, and northwestern New Mexico there on Sunday. Then as we go into Monday, look at that snow band setting up here from portions of the Hawkeye state of Iowa back through eastern Nebraska there, the Kansas City region. The rain snow line going to be right over you there on Monday. Heavy snows breaking out across central Kansas and then perhaps down into Amarillo there and even the Oklahoma panhandle starting to see some heavier snows there on Monday, January 8th. Then as we go into Tuesday, that snowfall shifts a little bit further east, including more of Chicago, Peoria, Illinois, St. Louis, very close to that rain snow line there. We'll be fine tuning those details but Grand Rapids, Lansing, Kalamazoo, those areas will be all snow. Detroit, probably more rain versus snow there as we go into Tuesday. And then finally going into Wednesday, 967 millibar low across southeastern Canada, a very powerful system, very heavy snows into eastern Ontario and Quebec there, possibly some blizzard-like conditions with how strong that low pressure system will be up there on Wednesday. Now we have to look here at the dew point temperatures. Let's look at the warm side of the system first and kind of detail this out. You can see Monday into Tuesday, those dew point temperatures will be rising into the 50s and low 60s out here across Dixie Alley and the Gulf Coast, including Florida there, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana, and even further west into East Texas as well. And this is concerning. You have the instability. You typically look for 55 degree dew points or higher for severe weather and we look at the kinematics. You have the 500 millibar mid-level jet stream, very powerful mid-level jet rounding the base of that trough. And you have the low-level jet, very formidable down here across portions of Dixie Alley in the southeast. This means that some storms may be capable of not only producing damaging winds and large hail, but even a few tornadoes, and that will be a concern. So from Monday, Monday night, and into Tuesday, it is possible from East Texas all the way east through Georgia and into Northwest Florida that we see all modes of severe weather in play during that time. So make sure you have your severe weather safety plans in place in case severe weather strikes, especially overnight on Monday. And then as we go with the rainfall totals here, this is going to be a whopper of a storm for the east. A lot of heavy rain, widespread heavy rain here, and up into the northeast. So notice we had the snowstorm this weekend. Yeah, we got heavy rain coming early next week on top of that snowpack. So if we get 6 to 10 inches, a foot of snow up here, it's going to mean some flooding ahead as we go into next week. And we'll be keeping an eye on that from the northeast down through portions of Virginia, the Carolinas, and the southeast. Widespread rains of one to four inches as we go into early next week on the warm side of the storm. Now it is good news because here is your soil moisture anomaly. Just a couple of days ago, this was inputted and you can see very dry soils down here across the deep south and really much of the eastern US besides the east coast is very dry. So we need the rainfall and this is a good system for getting that. Now on the cold side, anybody's wondering about snow, here's your European forecast model from Monday, Tuesday, and into that Wednesday time frame. The European model has shifted a little bit further east with the low track, so that means the snowfall shifted a little further east, including much of Michigan now in the bullseye for the snow with this European model, northern portions of Indiana, the Chicago metro area, down through Peoria, Illinois, Champaign-Urbana, and then down into St. Louis with this model. The GFS model is basically in the same ballpark. It has a little bit more bullish numbers with the totals on here, but just right now, let's look at the placement of the snow. Let's 
let's not worry about the snowfall totals just yet until we do get closer. But notice again, Michigan down through northern Indiana, Illinois, and then down into portions of Missouri, including St. Louis, Peoria, Champaign-Urbana, Chicago, Fort Wayne and Gary, Indiana, and then up in towards Lansing, Detroit, getting in towards the Kalamazoo, Grand Rapids region, and then into southeastern Canada with this as we go into next week. Now, beyond that system, that's not it either. We have another storm moving into the west coast toward the middle of January, and that could put down some heavy snow again for the Pacific Northwest, the Rockies with a moderate risk of heavy snow across Arizona into northwest New Mexico during that January 11th through the 17th time frame, and some more heavy snow for the Northeast, the Ohio Valley, and the lower Midwest as we go through that time frame into the middle of January. Looking at our potential snow depth in inches by the middle of the month, and you can see that snow line dropping further south here, so we need to be patient. It will take time, but as we get more of these snowstorms to traverse across the country from west to east or southwest to northeast, this is going to provide that snow line shifting further to the south. And this is very important because the next topic here is the cold. And as we go into the middle of January, we did recently have a sudden stratospheric warming event, which means we did have a very big spike in temperatures in the stratosphere. And as you think, as you go up in the atmosphere, the temperature naturally cools, but we have a very big warming trend in the stratosphere, which means all that cold air has to go somewhere and it is going to be dropping down into where we live in the troposphere and it takes about one to three weeks for that to occur and you can see as we go into next week here's the start of it across west central canada you can see the very cold anomalies here we're pretty much normal on either side of normal in the united states mainland next week but look at the ball drop as we go into the middle of january yeah all the way down into texas New Mexico, Arizona, and northern Mexico, the Rio Grande Valley, well below normal even into the middle of January. And you can see these potential wind chills by next week. Up into Canada, yeah, we're, this is not a mistake, folks. 30, 40, even 50. 55 below zero wind chills up here into northern Saskatchewan. And then we have those wind chills into the teens and 20s and even single digits down here across the north central United States next week. But then watch that as that plunges further south, the middle of January, as we've been talking about for the past few videos and several days ago. The polar vortex is coming, and here it is. You can see those 20, 30, and even 40 below zero wind chills across the northern tier of the United States and southern Canada, with even the deep south getting into the teens and single digits with those wind chills by the middle of January. So it's definitely going to get colder. Here is the latest 8 to 14 day temperature outlook from the Climate Prediction Center between January 11th and the 17th, basically for the middle of January, and that confirms it below normal temperatures likely across much of the western two-thirds of the country along and west of the Mississippi Valley where we'll still be hanging on to the above normal temperatures out east but definitely going to get much colder for much of us as we get into the middle of the month well thank you guys so much for watching be sure to subscribe to the channel down below especially if you like detailed weather breakdowns across North America and help me get to 75,000 subscribers by the end of this month. It would help to get this channel going. And also be sure to uh, press the like button down below if you like today's weather forecast. Share this video with friends, family, and on social media. And I hope everybody has a great rest of their Thursday out there.